Hello and welcome to how to breathe during wildfires. In this video, you're going to learn a few different breathing tips and tricks on how to best breathe during any time you're around a lot of smoke. I know right now in the west coast of North America, a lot of people are experiencing these wildfires that are agitating the airways, giving them bloody noses, really inflaming their lungs, and just making it really comfortable, uncomfortable to be outside or even in their home. So I hope that these breathing techniques and tips can really assist you to find some relief during this time. This video is brought to you by breathguidance.com and my name is Danny May. So the first technique is simply getting a rag or a mask, a cloth mask, and dampening it. And as you dampen it, allowing it to be over your airways as you breathe. Now it's important that this rag as you dampen it isn't like totally soaking wet because you don't want it to make it difficult to breathe, but you want it to be wet enough that it's going to help catch and filter even more of the heavier and more toxic particles that are gonna be in the smoke. So it's important that when you are taking this dampened cloth and you're putting it over your face to breathe, that you're still breathing in and out through your nose. Your nose is a really great apparatus to help you breathe and filter tons of different molecules every single day. And you wanna keep these foreign particles out of your airways. So make sure that when you are taking this over your face, you're still breathing in and out through the nose. The second thing that you can do is get a spray bottle, fill it up with water, and just start spraying the air around you. This is gonna do something kind of similar to the first technique in which it's going to help dampen the smoke particles and bring them lower and hopefully down to the ground so that you're not breathing them into your body and just making them heavier and more moistened to begin with. So that's something that might really work while you're in your home or maybe around your house or you know if it's really bad and you're walking, you might even wanna get like a damp cloth, have that over and then even get a spray bottle and kind of just get the air around as you're either sitting somewhere or moving through space. So the next technique that we're gonna go into is one that is gonna be more for once you've already inhaled smoke. You might have a bloody nose, you might feel like you're having a cough or it's just really difficult and burning and inflamed and hard to breathe. That's going to be a lung cell stimulation with a cough. So we're trying to get a little bit of this stuff out that you might have already inhaled. So it's important again that you're still breathing through the nose. If your nose, if you're finding that you have a bloody nose from the smoke, you don't want this inhale to be really rough or hard. You want it to be soft and smooth. So we're not trying to agitate any more of the inflammation that might already be in there, but you do wanna let your nostrils flare, kind of like a bunny rabbit where you, and then you breathe in nice and slow and easy. Once you have that air in, you're just gonna hold the air in and you're gonna to start to tap on your chest and you're trying to activate a little bit more of the lung cells and you can tell that in my voice, I'm tapping hard enough to get a little bit of stimulation. You don't wanna tap so hard that it hurts, but you also don't wanna to tap too soft that you're not um, experiencing a little bit of that pressure because what we're trying to do is get the stuff that might be stuck in your lungs or even in your airway to kind of loosen it up. So after you have inhaled nice and slowly, you're holding your breath. As you're holding breath, that is also creating pressure. This is going to help create a little bit of release. And then when you exhale, it's going to be nice and easy again through the nose. But at the bottom of it, you're going <coughs> to force a cough. So again, this lung cell simulation for a little bit of cleansing is breathing in, flaring the nostrils nice and easy. Holding your breath in, tapping, really tapping. And for those of you who might not have a long breath hold, you wanna do this at least for like five to 10 seconds if you can. For those of you who have a longer breath hold, you could do this for a whole 30 seconds to 45 seconds to really get some stimulation. The best thing you can do is if you have someone who really cares about you is tap on your back and really tap, 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 tap your back as you're holding your breath. And then again, you exhale from the nose <coughs> at the bottom. So I sincerely hope that this video has brought you a little bit of relief during this time or any time you find yourself around smoke and it's difficult to breathe. I also really hope that you'll share this video with anyone else you think you could find some relief and benefit from these techniques.
please consider checking out breathguidance.com where you can learn a ton of different breathing techniques through our breath technique training where you learn 60 breathing techniques in just six weeks all online or our virtual membership where you can visit over 15 different styles of breath classes. We already have over 50 classes in our breath library and I hope it is a lot more by the time you watch this video because we do at least two to three new videos in our virtual membership every single week. So you can drop in live or just visit the entire library. I hope to talk to you soon. If you have any questions whatsoever, pop them in the comments below and I look forward to breathing with you again. See you.